Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Happy New Year's. I hope you guys had a wonderful new year and that this year brings you guys plenty of joy and multiple blessings. Without further ado, <laughs> let's talk about the products that I liked and disliked that I purchased in December. So let's start with foundations. I purchased this Stila one because the current Stila that I have is a little bit lighter and it's really really hard to match my skin tone sometimes and it sucks so for the people out there that you have to use like two products together in order for that product to make your skin color trust me I get your problem so I got this one this is a uh, Stila in 10 or number 12 the one I had was before was caramel 10 I did like it. The thing that I did notice with this one when I used it with my Lorac Porefection was that for some reason I wanted to like itch right here in my cheeks. I don't know why. It just it just caused that. But aside from that, I really did like it and I I mean, I do love Stella products. Another product that I purchased, another foundation was the Smashbox Studio Skin and this is the color oh, it doesn't say it's 3.4 I bought this because I was gonna mix it with Stila <laughs> or with my Urban Decay that I had and which was this one that I had and I need to buy another one um, and it left me looking like a really orangey and the way that I describe it is like I look like a brick I don't know why I always want to say that but this one for some reason it just made me like really 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 orange and so I did not like it another product that I purchased and I got this one from Target is called the Sonia Kashuk I want to say the perfecting luminous foundation in the color bamboo 05 I liked it at first but the consistency of it was weird I don't I don't know it left me looking a little bit wider it wasn't matching and the other one that they have or that she has on the line is too dark for me so I don't know if you can see it just does not match and I wasn't gonna get the other one because it's really really super dark so I don't like it I I don't but it looks good on my on my mom <laughs> I will have to say that Another foundation slash powder that I purchased was the Tarte, and this is the Medium Tan Sand. I liked it, and I actually the story behind why I purchased this one was I was running errands and I looked like crap, and so I stopped at Ulta, and I was like, I need something quick. I bought this, and today I am using, I am using this. I don't have any foundation liquid on my face, I just have this with my normal, you know, um, contour and blush. So I do like it. It kind of it does actually match my skin. So I am happy, and it's lightweight, and it's cool beans. I like it. Beauty products I purchased in December, and I do not like. I'm actually going to flat out say I don't like it. It's the My Sculpted Face by It Cosmetics, and the reason why I don't like it is. This one doesn't come with a book of instructions, and I know I've seen some of the stuff, they do come with it, but these um, contouring stuff, I don't know if you can see it. I tried using this dark one to like really define the contour, and it looked like I had beat the crap out of my face. So I used this one, and actually to tell you the truth, this is nothing... I mean, this is pretty much as close as the NYC Smooth Skin in uh, Sunny. It's exactly like that one. So it's a dupe for this one. Yes, it's, you know, higher brand and it's awesome and it's actually cruelty free, no animal testing, but I do not like it. I'd rather stick to my oldie but goodie um, Sunny. I don't know if you guys have seen, but Tarte put out like a cute um, holiday makeup thingy box. <laughs> but in it, it came like this cute little thing where you put your, oh, 
put these. And it came in four different ones, which I'm gonna try and stick them all up here so you guys can see. So it comes in this, and you also got like a mascara, and I think that was it. You came with a mascara and these cute stuff. Oh, and a lip, a lip gloss, which I don't do. So that one I think I gave to my mom. But these these colors are cool. I like them because I really don't didn't have like shimmer stuff. So each palette comes like with the middle one that's very shimmery. I do like it. I like champagne and chocolate. And this one is the navigating the metro. So I do like it. And it was cool because it was a holiday gift and I gave it to myself as a holiday gift. Not only just because my birthday is in December, but because shit, I'm awesome. <laughs> Another eyeshadow stuff that I bought was the Urban Decay Shadow Box. And I'm actually looking forward to using these colors because most of my summer dresses are the color of Free Love. I don't know. I'm a orangey girl type of wearing stuff even though today I'm wearing turquoise but um, I am looking forward to using these colors for the spring and summer so I will probably have tutorials up for that I bought two nail polishes I bought the L'Oreal uh, Marvelous which I've used it and I liked it it really looks good. And I bought the Essie uh, Mademoiselle. And this is cool, like if you don't want your nail polish to be seen, because on my, at least on my nails, it looks like it's just a clear coat. So, yeah. I've been meaning to find a nail polish that makes my nails look natural, but glossy at the same time. So, what I do is I put this and I put this on top and it look nice. I don't know. You can mix and match just like I mix and match my foundations. Lipsticks. I got four NYX matte lipsticks. One of them is in Amsterdam. This one is Monte Carlo. Addis Adaba. And Antwerp. So currently the one that I have on is this one oh, oh, getting confused here I have the 80s Adaba so I'm gonna swatch it for you guys the colors and currently the one that I have on is this one with this the, uh, the 80s Adaba so as you can see it's a pretty they're pretty colors. I really like it. I was not a fan of uh, matte lipsticks because the ones that I would purchase were from um, Revlon and they would make my lips crack and they would just look really, really ugly. But for some reason, I think someone lent me one of their NYX to put on and I liked it. And so I went crazy and I bought four. So there you have it oh missing one i am a huge fan of philosophy products and by that i mean to take off my makeup i use the purity from philosophy i love the way it melts my makeup off but i put a lot of gunk on my eyes like i'll do like a coat of mascara and I'll another one and another one and before you know it i did like six coats of mascara plus my lashes and my eye you know shadows and stuff so uh, i really do need to purchase a eye makeup remover <laughs> instead of trying to rely on the purity um makeup remover because my eyes are imprinted almost in every towel that I own in this house so mm. but speaking of philosophy I did buy the micro delivery peel and the silic acid activating gel 
I love these. I've tried these three times and I actually did not purchase these in December. I purchased these in, in November, but I've tried it and you know what? It's gone a long way because not only do I use it, but I did my husband's face, my dad, my mom's. I think I even did my son's. I mean, whoever lets me play with their face, trust me, they're getting gunk on it and I'll probably do these too. So the first time that I actually tried these, um, my face broke out the following day, but I did not get discouraged. I did it again two weeks later, because you're only supposed to do it like um, once every three weeks. But I didn't wait the three weeks, I did it two weeks later. And I did nothing happened, I did not break out, and I did it again actually last week, and nothing happened. I did not break out. So. It's gone a very long way. And I really like it. The way that I do, I just kind of like scoop it up. So whatever I pick up with these two fingers, I'll put it on my palm and then from there, you know, I'll cover my palm with the silic acid and I'll rub those two together and then do it all over my face. The way that I take it off is um, I let it sit for approximately 10 minutes get a towel and put warm water on it, you know, and then put it on your face, rinse it off, and then do it again, put it on your face. I did that like three or four times and then finally I rinse off my face with water. And I don't know why I'm weird, I do that, but I feel like my face is a little bit like much more uh, soft when I do that, not just like just scraping it off like it they told me at the place at Ulta. So it's a cool thing to do to your face because it's actually killing and removing the dead skin from your face that you have. And as far, like for example, myself, I use a lot of crap on my face. Like whatever you tell me is good, I will go out there and I will buy it just to try it. I got these in Ulta. I don't know if Sephora carries them. So just a tip. That's pretty much the beauty stuff that I bought. Not a lot of stuff. Um, and the reason why I haven't bought a lot of stuff like I usually do is because we're moving. <laughs> so if I could actually turn my camera around, you will see that like half of the counter in the bathroom is full of makeup products. And full of just like brushes and shit belong to me. My poor husband has like this amount of space left for his, you know, cologne and body spray and all that other stuff. Because I am moving, I am trying not to purchase so much stuff because having to transport it over to another place and I am very anal when it comes to my makeup. It has to be a certain way and I will probably go nuts when I have to like put these things in a box because I'll be like, no, these two things cannot touch and this cannot touch and this cannot be together so you know but hopefully when I um, get situated in my um, hopefully new house towards the beginning of February I will give you guys a look of how my makeup <laughs> is organized seriously us as girls we go crazy it's like we're kids in the candy store when we go to a makeup store because we purchase a lot of shit that we don't use ever or we'll use it like once or twice I bought this back in October which is the smoked urban decay and it's like brand new I've used it like once so it just goes to show you that just because it comes out doesn't mean you have to buy it but I still do because I'm a girl you know what else am I gonna do so hope you guys liked my uh, December holiday haul beauty shit that I purchased in December stuff <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and please like and subscribe. I know I am fairly new here in the YouTube world and I don't. I've done my homework and but I still don't know how to 
interact and get to know everybody. So please be a doll, be my friend. And like and subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And if you guys like what you see, like it and subscribe. Also, I will be doing a makeup tutorial in the coming week, next week, on a new makeup look and maybe using some of the products that I purchased. So stay tuned for that. Aside from that, I think that that is all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys later. Bye.